Hello everyone, welcome to the channel for everything Arsenal and everything football. Thanks for being here. I hope you're all doing well and the transfer window is finally open. I can't actually stress more to you guys how much I've actually waited for this transfer window. I'm sure it's the same for you guys like since around um, March or something. I was just waiting. I've been waiting for the transfer window, honestly. Like we've just as the season has gone by, we've noticed how how many problems we have in the team. Some that we already knew, of course, but as time went, as games came, as games ended, we realized how many more problems are developing, how many more problems are coming up, be it injuries with players, be it lack of discipline, be it um Players who have just stayed here for too long and we don't need them anymore. Players who have fallen out of favor. Players who don't fit a data system. So many problems. So this transfer window is one of the most important transfer window for Arsenal in a while. Um, I remember one summer we signed only Czech. Last summer we got Pepe. The other summer we got Torreira, Guendouzi. And um, this summer it's finally a data summer now. He can get whichever player. Okay, he can't get whichever player. It depends on the budget. But he can actually get the players that he prefers to fit his system or he thinks would fit his system so in this video i'm going to be talking about um the five players that arsenal should sign from the three relegated teams uh we know what ford have been relegated bournemouth have been relegated and norwich city have been relegated um norwich of course a couple of weeks ago maybe two weeks ago bournemouth and watford on the final day we confirmed watford's um Watford's relegation. We all thought Aston Villa would get relegated, and that is why um, I didn't want. I was up, up supposed to do this video. Video, video. Wow, that is crazy. Video. I was supposed to do this video earlier on, but um, our, you couldn't be sure which team is gonna, was gonna be relegated. So I decided to wait for it, wait till the final day. And yeah, now we know it's Watford, Bournemouth, and know it. Every uh, if it was Aston Villa, probably Grealish. El Ghazi, Trezor, again, all those um, players. Um, you could argue that from these three uh, teams, the likes of Max Arons, Timu Puki, Krul, if you go to Bournemouth, the likes of Wilson, Watford, even the goalkeeper Ben Foster, all those players, I don't see them remaining in their teams, but I don't see someone like, um, I don't see someone like, like who, maybe Buendia, or Foster being signed by a Manchester United or a Man City, I don't really see it. But such players like Timu Puke could see him joining a team like Brighton and becoming magnificent. I can see someone like um, Callum Wilson was a target for Chelsea a couple of months ago, but now I don't think they'll need him. Someone like Wilson, if he joined a team like Leeds coming up, they would be very dangerous. So not really the big teams, but the smaller teams. But I'm here to talk about Arsenal, the five players that would, that would fit Arsenal, not, not Man U, not Man City. So let me get into the five players who Arsenal should try and sign from the relegated teams. Number five is Jamal Lewis, Norwich City's left back. Now, I know people have been crying for Max Arons. Um, people have been, fans have been crying to sign him. People have been asking for him, but... I would take him if it was five months ago, but since uh, everything has happened, we've gotten Cedric, we've signed him on a long-term deal. Niles has started playing well, he can fill up in that position. Bellerin doesn't look like he's going to leave. Um, someone like Chambers is injured, but when he comes back, that is a player we've seen playing at right back. If he's your fourth, if you actually have four or five defenders who can fill up, fill up at right back, I don't think you really need a right back. I know we need better quality. But um, for now, we have so many other problems and not right back for now. We need to sort out left back. We need to sort out the attacking midfield, as you know, but not the right back. So Jamal Lewis, the left back, is where we need to sort out. He is not expensive. He'd um, be okay as a backup left back if we sell Kolasinac. But I do think we'll sell Kolasinac also. Like the way he's played the last few games, I don't see him staying. He's very young. I had a bit of faith in him because he's young he's still 27 or 28 but his performances recently not the best jamal lewis is only 22 years of age he's put i've watched a couple of norwich city games and he's played very well and uh, we know Saka's filled up in that position for the whole season nearly the whole season but i don't need him in that position anymore he's now our number seven by the way we need him up front we need him to play the bamiang i hope he stays i need i need him to play with martinelli stay up front let's have defenders who are defenders 
if Tin is um, injured or suspended or not available, Jamal Lewis can fill up for him. So left back, we definitely need a left back. And Jamal Lewis, a backup left back, Jamal Lewis is that player. So Jamal Lewis is my number five. Number four, another Norwich City defender. Uh, not defender, another Norwich City player. I know they, have, they finished last, but they do have a couple of gems here and there that you can get. Um, Todd Cantrell is my number four. Now, he's cheaper than Grealish. We all thought Aston Villa was going to be relegated, but they didn't. Um, Grealish is, would be like 70 million. There I'm hearing stuff I'm hearing. Um, Todd Cantrell, he, he could be in the first team. He could be on the bench. Let's be honest. We have no def uh, creative midfielder or box-to-box -box midfielder. If Cantrell uh, came to Arsenal right now, today, he'd, he'd start in the Chelsea game. Why? Because you have no creative midfielder at all. And this is a player who gets himself into the box um, the way um, Ducure does at Watford, the way um, who else uh, Ramsey used to do for Arsenal. He's not the, he, he doesn't have that style or swag or, or pace or all that, but he, he'll, he'll do the job for you. So Todd Cantrell for me, 22 years of age, not really much creativity, doesn't take corners or free kicks or stuff like that, but he get, gets himself in very good uh, positions. I saw his partnership with Puki early on in the season, very, very, very good. Scored very many goals, uh, considering I think he scored like 10% or 15% of their goals. So for me, Todd Cantrell, it'd be okay for us. If he's like um, 20 million, 25, I'd try and get him. For my number five, Jamal Lewis, if, if he's like 30 million to 15 million, why not? I'd try and get him. Fill up the where you need. We've seen teams like Liverpool getting Vinaldem and uh, Robertson when they're relegated. We've seen Leicester getting Maguire and Hull City was relegated. Let us now go for teams that have been relegated. Let's go for their players. Not very expensive. They're looking to offload these players. Let's go for them. Jamal Lewis, number five. Todd Contrell, number four. Both know it's City players. That That is my number five and four. Let me know what you think about that. Just before I get into the top three, I've already put out a playlist talking about how Arsenal should line up next season, at does tactics, how he should change his tactics, how he can improve Arsenal. I'll be I'll be updating that um playlist. Yeah, playlist every single uh, week, maybe after the games, probably every single day as the transfers come by. I've already also put out um that that playlist includes how Arsenal should line up next season, how Arsenal could line up with Coutinho, Thomas Partey really interesting so if you want to check that out i'll link it up in the youtube card right now and in the description and yeah without further ado let's get into the top three players that arsenal should sign or try to sign from the relegated teams number three yes we are moving away from norwich city now we are going to bournemouth um who do you think it is nathan ake defenders 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 We've been crying for defenders since like 2008 when the likes of Koloture left, when the likes, you know, even Senderos, if Senderos came to Arsenal right now, we'd slot straight into this team because those defenders had fight. They had passion. They loved Arsenal. But the defenders that are there right now, do they really love Arsenal? I don't think so. Um, you can actually argue teams like Bournemouth and Brighton have better defenders than ours, not in terms of um, skill or technical ability, Yes, you wouldn't find a defender at um, Wigan or Brighton who knows how to take a free kick, but Lewis Dunk actually does, but not in the, on the level of David Lewis. You wouldn't find a defender who can cross the ball like Kierentini or um, Bellerin, although Bellerin has been poor in terms of that in the last uh, season. So um, those defenders, in terms of fight, defending, let's score a goal and defend the lead. Teams like Brighton and Bournemouth have better defenders than us, so you can argue that you could sign in on from them and um, they'll stick straight into our team. So Nathan Ake, Premier League experience, played for Watford, played for Chelsea, played for Bournemouth, 25 years of age. The only problem is that Man City are linked with him and is very expensive. They want like 70 million. So I don't think we'd pay 70 million for Nathan Ake. But in a back three with um, David Lewis, if he, stay, if he starts next season and Saliba, all of a sudden that looks okay. That is okay if you can't get Koulibaly or Pomecano. So number three is Nathan Ake. I don't make this video too long. Number two, another Bournemouth uh, player, Josh King. Now, I know this is not your typical um kind of Cavani, Falcao, Cristiano Ronaldo kind of um, forward, but he'll do the job for you. Let me tell you why. 
This guy is 28 years of age. He's a very, very good backup striker. And he's not only a backup striker. He can actually start for you. And not only as a striker, he's very versatile. We've seen him play for Bournemouth at left wing, at right wing, in the number 10 position. So if we need a number 10 or that, whichever opponent you're playing and we need a number 10, you could have Josh King there. If Obama and Lacazette are not available, you're trying to rest them, you could have Josh King up front. If on the left, Martinelli or Saka are not available, you could have Josh King over there. He'll be on the bench, come on, probably play a lot of minutes for us because he's a very quality striker in the Premier League. Yeah, he has that Premier League experience. He was at Manu from uh, 2009, 2009, 2007 to 2011, but of, of course didn't play a lot. 2009 to 2013, I think, not 2007 to 2011, but he was there for four years. This is a very good player. His injuries are a bit um, here and there, but not as much as Callum Wilson. So Josh King, definitely I'd try and get him. If he's like 25 million, I'd sign him. I'd sign him. Also depends on whether we keep Nketi or not. So Josh King is my number two. And finally, number one, we switch up clubs again and we head over to Vicarage Road, the team that we relegated, Watford. Now, it's not Troy Deeney, but you know, if Troy Deeney came to us right now, he'd be given the captaincy immediately because of his fight. But the one I'm talking about this time is a box-to-box -box midfielder, central midfielder, defensive midfielder, Abdullahi Dukure. This is, an, this is one player I definitely want. This is the first player I'd go for. I've already mentioned him uh, in this video. This is a player I'd definitely go for. He's 27 years of age, joined Watford in 2016. We've seen him score some incredible goals, defends very well, rarely picks up red cards like the likes of um, Capu or Riol Romeo at Southampton, those defensive midfielders who pick up a lot of cards. He doesn't really do that or Capu is teammate. Him, he can, he can do the job for you. He can play in a two, he can play in a three if you're playing with three midfielders. If you want him as a number 10 when you're trying to defend a lead and you want people who will just fight in the middle, you could have Dukure there, you could have Shaka there. You could have if Torre is still there, you could have all three of them and all of a sudden you look solid enough. So I do like Dukure, I definitely try to sign him. That is my number one. I know this list would be different from you guys. As I've said, there, there are people like Max Arons, Timo Puki, Krul, Buendia, um, Ramsdale from Bournemouth, Callum Wilson, Foster, Gerard De La Feo, Ismail Sar from Watford. All those players are quality and I don't see any of those players remaining in their clubs. Teams like Brighton, teams like um, Leeds, depending on whether, what, what other teams will come up, Fulham, Cardiff, Brentford, all those teams, they will do it such players. So that is my top five, Jamal Lewis, Todd Cantwell, Nathan Ake, Josh King, Dukure. Let me know out of these five players, which are the two you try and get and let me know which five players you try and get from the relegated teams. Um, I'll have a lot of these videos coming up, transfer videos, but let's focus on the FA Cup final first. I'll have the preview for that on uh, Tuesday. When is today? Today is Monday, yeah. On Tuesday, I'll have it out. I'm so confused. I'm just waiting for the season to end, honestly. The transfer window is now open. More videos coming soon. Thanks for watching again. Keep staying safe. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here, and I'll talk to you later.